everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Back from vacation, ready to get back to work. Crack that whip, start some painting, do some videos, you know. Um, had a great time. I'm still, I'm still in a vacation mode, I can tell. I'm looking at myself. No makeup and curly hair. That's definitely my MO for vacation. <laughs> anyway, before we get started tonight, let me show you the dried results from the last two videos. Um, summer colors. This was the first one, the little practice piece. This guy here, I gotta say, for having silicone in it, there aren't any spots. I'll still clean it and everything um, before it gets resin, but it's so happy and pretty. I'm like really happy with this guy. So there's the first one. And then the last video, we did uh, three paintings in one video. We have the Convexo Rounds. This one here, super shiny. Really pretty, really happy with that. My husband doesn't like the white and I told him I do, so tough. <laughs> There's that one. And then this one here where we stretched out the cells and got it to like blend more. I'm in love with that one. That one's super, super cool. They're just gonna hang out waiting to get cleaned and resined. And then I'm not gonna name names, my husband. Um, before we left, I had all of my art downstairs and normally I have my cups and I put foam board or cardboard and then a tarp. And for whatever reason, he put my sander on top of the foam board or the cardboard. No big deal, except over time, the weight of it sunk and sunk. So when I came home, there was this on the back of the cardboard when I like took it off and I was like, oh, what the hell is that? And then I realized it was my painting. It's not terribly noticed. I mean, I noticed it and it did, of course, happen where all the really, really beautiful cells were. Do you see it? Right there. It, it looks like a dip right in the middle of the painting like off from a distance you see you can see it can you see the outline it looks and if you look at the shape of it that's the exact shape of my hand sander right there so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this one i'm really bummed out it was just so bright and happy well i know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this over so you guys will see these colors again we're gonna do another video um but not tonight. Tonight I'm going to do um, a commission piece. I hardly ever do those on film, but I'm feeling confident because um, I'm familiar with the colors and the brands and I've done it before. So let's give it a go. So yeah, just a little 10 by 20 deconstructed bloom um, for a client. And then uh, if all goes well, uh, I'll film again. Yeah, let me get you down. Okay, quick review of the colors before we get started. Um, this is a commission piece. It is based on a, I think the very first deconstructed bloom I did on camera. It's video number 302. It'll come up there if you wanna check that out later. Almost the same colors with um, an addition of one that the customer asked for on a little 10 by 20 canvas. So we have some Pebio Studio Acrylics. This is iridescent, precious, precious gold. And then we have four colors here. Um, these are Modern Masters. So this first one here is called Antique Bronze, semi-opaque. We have their orange called Burnt Orange, also semi-opaque. We have this gray color called Sachet Red, that's opaque. And then uh, one new color to this palette right here, this is Rose Gold, it's also semi-opaque. So that's the palette. I'm just gonna stare at it for a second and figure out my order for my puddles. We'll see how deconstructed I get um, when I blow these out. 
I know when I did the first video, I just did dark to light, but I think I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. So just let me set them over here in the order. Uh, I want, I want the red and orange together. I think I'm gonna put that rose gold and the gold together. There we go. All right. Now I had some sort of booger in my house paint. And don't you hate it? But like you see it pour in, or at least I did. I saw it pour into the container and now I can't find it. It's like hiding. So we'll see if it shows up when I pour this out. Or maybe it was my imagination. I oh, know, are you it? Hold on. There's something in there? No? Yeah? Yes, ha ha ha. <laughs> the little things that make you happy, right? It's like I knew I saw something. Nothing else? All right, looking good. Don't worry about the corners. In a second, this is my uh, Glidden Essentials. And the can uh, is not new and it's a couple weeks old and man, it is just holding a nice thick pillow. It's thickened up, it's looking great. And we're just gonna do two blooms since it's a smaller canvas. So we're gonna start with the bronze. Orange. Oh, the, you know, colors, brands, pouring medium, recipe, ratios is all in the description section. I will say that since these are thicker paints, not quite tube paints, um, but I added probably um, a good three quarters of an ounce uh, in the bottom of my little three ounce cups here. And then I added pouring medium, you know, up to there. So that's like two and a half ounces. And then I did have to add about a teaspoon of, um, I used just Sonia gloss varnish to, um, thin it out because they were, uh, on the thicker side. They still are, but they're not too bad. I kind of like it. So activator color tonight is Amsterdam's Oxide Black. And there's the first one already. Let's give this a whirl. Cool Air Low Fan. Wow, I'm gonna ease up on that rose gold, kind of taking over a little bit in the middle there. Man, really pretty color combo though. Gotta say, I like my white cells, I always do. Uh, let's go again. Uh, yeah, that was the right color. I'm like, is that the right color? So, we were on vacation in South Carolina, in Hilton Head, and we had a lovely time. But one part of our vacation was really weird in that the service industry there is hammered. I mean, hammered. Uh, 
there I've never seen so many help wanted signs and we cannot and not just my family um, anybody cannot find a place with full that was like fully staffed service wide particularly the restaurants I'm adding a little more color if you hadn't noticed okay um, I mean we went to a place one night just to get like subs like steak and cheese like nothing fancy I'm not talking fancy restaurants and they told us that the wait for a sub was two hours and 45 minutes we about fell over it was rough getting food was rough all week long but we managed to feed ourselves and have a good time all right same deal That is a much, much better blending of colors. Just by adding those extra dollops of color, they all mixed up there in the middle. It's making me want to do this one over, like right on top of it maybe. Yeah, we'll let that collect. See, there's like more variety of colors. Just let me stand here and think about it. I mean, this is pretty, but you can definitely see all the rose gold. Huh, huh, huh. And I could just do right on top of it. I haven't stretched anything out. Let me do it. Let me go for it. And just go right on top of this. Why not? Anyway, we loved it there. We fall in love with everywhere we go though. <laughs> Every time we go on vacation, no matter where it is. I remember when we went to Maine, we are like, we love Maine. And then we remembered the weather. Then we're like, oh, maybe not Maine. Or we went to um, Sedona, Arizona one year. We're like, we love Sedona. And then realized that we can't afford Sedona. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure everybody does that. Let's put a little more red and orange on top of this rose gold. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, calling a mulligan on this first bloom. Take two. My little double layers going kind of grooving on that y'all oh I made some big divots let's give that a second you know what I'm gonna do for a change 
because I'm gonna put on gloves and take remember to take off my rings too. Super pretty colors though. I'm looking to see if I need to add any white. I think this part's gonna be fine. Maybe a dollop here and there. And that'll be about it. I'm liking my center part. Debating whether or not I want the white there or not. Or if I want to blow on that a little more with my hair dryer. That's collected nicely. Oh, and I've got a puddle right here. Let me just do this, take it off my tarp. Put that there. And then let me think about, I'm not, I'm not one for doodles. But I just feel like this needs, it's going to need something in the middle. I think that part's going to come off. Just something like that. Just, you know, so it's not just blank white. There. All right, I'm going to throw a little paint here. Just a little tiny bit. Right there. A little bit there. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how much we want to tilt this all out. Well, this side's definitely going to be easy to cover, so let's go, let's take it up. And squish everything for a second and just take it off. And we'll come down before we go over to the other side. I'm just going to go for it because there's a lot of paint. And then I'm going to bring everything down to these other corners and then I'll go back up again. Oh, I'm glad I added the little uh, squiggles. All right, we have coverage. Let me stop and stare at this. Let the paint run down the sides. Looking good. How do we feel about the white in the middle? I think it kind of helps because um, those colors are quite rich. And I think if the whole painting was like that, it would be too much to look at. So it is a nice break on my eyeballs. Just let me stare for a second. Okay, this is gonna sound weird. I like the, let me wipe off my fingers. I like the bottom very much. Like here. This right here, well it's like really cool cause it made like super big cells. It also looks too much like a real heart. <laughs> Not like a Valentine day heart. I don't know if I want like a real heart in my art. I think I'm gonna take some of that off too because I wanna lose a little more paint too. Just some of this. Maybe stretch things out a little more. That rose gold is still showing up everywhere. 
I'm just going to go straight up for a second. I'll just take some of that red off and let some of it roll back down too, but not there. See, so I got the like the art, the, the heart thing gone. And hmm. I might actually bring things over to this corner here to kind of stretch things out a little. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, love. And then bring it back. Am I still liking it? I'm gonna take some more paint off in here. Still loving everything at the bottom. And I'm not real crazy about this thingy. So I'm gonna kinda of go up for a second and over. Try to save some of the lacing. And then I'm going to bring everything way back. I made like a better pattern. Debating if I want it. Um, it's about like the, the calm area is like about three quarters of the way up. So do I want it there or do I want to bring it down? Or do I just leave it be? I think I kind of like it off center like that. It looks nice. And dang, the colors are really super, super pretty. I'm calling it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say ta-da. I'm actually going to turn the camera off for a minute and ponder it and walk away. Um, but hopefully when I come back, we'll be doing a close-up. Be right back. Well, I didn't change a thing. Walked away, came back, and said, oh, it's really pretty. And there's so many interesting little bits to look at. I'm like, there's no way I want to mess with this anymore. And I think I poured off enough paint. And I love that you can see all the colors. So I'm really, really glad I went back and redid the first bloom because you can just see all the different areas of all the colors. Um, this whole part, hopefully, if it conveys right up in here. Oh, I'm not gonna get a shadow. I'm gonna have to go sideways. This here with the rose gold is just cool. I'm gonna go sideways. And then there's just a ton of fine lines everywhere. I guess because I had thinner, um, my cell activator was probably like four and a half to one. So it made the really fine lines. I love the um, the silver in the middle. There's my little swirls. I gotta get a cover on this thing. Oh, <gasps> there's a gnat. Get out of there. <gasps> Do you guys see that? It just, oh, I gotta, <laughs> I'm freaking out. I gotta get a cover on this guy. I will show you the dry results. <laughs> I'm all spastic now. Um, in the next video, I might go again because I have leftover paint. You might get two videos with the same palette. Um, it's just really, really pretty. And I do like this three quarters of the way up. So let me come up high so you can see the whole thing. Sorry for the pot light. There, I'll do it like that. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. Let me say goodbye. That worked out really well. I usually have a fail or two. So knock on wood happy about that um i don't know why i'm saying goodbye i'm just going to paint again and do another video so uh you'll see another one from me <laughs> in a few days uh thanks for watching and tuning in please like share and subscribe if you get a chance please go to my waterfall acrylics facebook page and give me a like or a follow there i'm trying to get to 10k there so i can also post the videos there and check out our fluid art addicts 
Facebook group so you can post your own work. I'd love to see them. Um, oh gosh, there might only be a day or two left, but we are running a contest in Fluid Art Addicts that if you post a picture of your art and you get a lot of likes, the winner um, will get their art, their um, advertised and you'll be allowed, the winner will be allowed to sell their art, um, which is a big deal because most groups don't let you do that. So um, check that out and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Y'all take care. Peace out.